But everything that I learned, everything that I, I was putting together, I was like, oh my. I said, uh, I was amazed. I said, how did I run across this and didn't see this? How did I, how did I miss this? You know, this, the scripture is clear. And, and, and it made me think, I was like, wow. I said, my goodness. And then I started thinking, I said, is there an opportunity that I have to, to determine that, you know, if the earth is spinning? Yeah, my whole military career. Every time we went to the field to be in the air defense artillery, we couldn't shoot just like downrange, like regular howitzers, like, you know, the big gun, boom, and shoot out in the, in the impact field. They couldn't do that. The units I was in, which then we shot at aircraft in Germany, West Germany, we had to go up to the North Sea. And that's the only place that we could shoot the, the particular weapons we had, like chaparrales, Vulcans, and uh, red eye stingers and stuff. We had to shoot out at the North Sea, and they will send a bat, what they call a bat, an airplane, and go by remote control or with a thing on a tail on the end, look like an airplane, and they shoot at that, you know. <clears throat> and it made me think, and even not just that, even the howitzers, the 109, 110 howitzers that I worked on, these guys were ground based. They're ground based. They had eight inch guns and so forth. And they fired these, I think one of the, the 110s are the, the rounds are like 200 pounds or something like that. And then the 109s are like 90 something pounds. They will fire them things down range. It had dawned on me. I've been with the guys that actually fired the guns. Cause I was a mechanic, something break down. They got to call me. I got to go in there, fix whatever's wrong. And then, uh, come on out of there and sit back and mechanic. I just watch them shoot. So I've been on that end and I've been called to the OP observation point, the survey guys. Those are the guys that are way at the impact area. They're sitting out on the, the, the impact areas like Grafenvirs, for example, in Germany, they have a big old area of where the, all the rounds land in the area. Right. Well, the survey guys are up on the edge, way up high, but on the outside edge, and they can use their binoculars and they can see the impact area. And they pick a spot and then they say, okay, we're going to have them shoot that tank over there about so many feet away. But they, it's, it's mathematics. They knew where the unit was at, they knew where they were at, and they knew with the uh, triangulate, uh, 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 triangulization, whatever, to triangulate where their location was to get the round to land on the target. And I thought about that, you know, it, 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 it made me think then, but just like reading the Bible, run right by it and did the same thing. But it made me go, hmm, you know, you know that the earth is spinning, but we didn't compensate for none of that. Then nobody takes an account that the earth is spinning, that what they call the Coriolis effect. That's baloney. That's bullcrap. And once I started thinking about my military career, I said, you know what? That makes sense. I said, that is why. Because my job was to synchronize the, the sites, the battle sites of any weapons they use. My job was to synchronize and make sure what they see is what it is. You know, they go up in elevation, they go traverse left and right, and all, all the electrical and hydraulic stuff had to work on time. And that was my job. So when I thought about that, I said, you know what? The earth can't be moving. It doesn't move. And then that led me down a rabbit hole. You know, I started thinking and thinking. I said, well, you know what? This is definitely true. Then I started doing more research and more research. And then that caused me to go deeper into the Bible. I'm like, what else did I miss in this Bible that I run across and I never noticed? You know, what else? Because it's one thing I don't like is being the last one. You know what I mean? I look at other people and I found out this flat earth thing has been out. It's not been out. And a lot of people make that mistake. You know, people think, oh, my God, they're flat earth, this, that, and the other. No. If you actually do the research, flat earth is, was first. The globe is what came last. The globe is not old. That's the only one that's a few hundred years old, 500 or something like that. 1492, they made the first globe. And then you find out who came up with it, uh, Copernicus, and uh, how he came up with the idea. And you read the story about Copernicus. And he didn't really, really believe his own theory. And he's, well, make sure you don't, you know, release the transcript until after I'm dead. You know what I mean? And it's like, you see all that. And then you find out that, that the, 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 the uh, Catholic church, the Roman Catholic church were the ones that was pushing it. Well, let's push this. And then you find out how evil and, 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 and de defiant they were, you know, it, 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 you gotta be careful, man. When I asked Lord guide me, 
everything I learned, everything I gathered, everything, the truth is there. And the Bible is true. It says, the truth is there for those who seek it. And if you ask, you shall receive, you know? And I ask, you know, help me, let guide me. You know, I want to know this. I want to know that. And I wasn't ready for all that. You know, I was like, man, this is a lot to take in. And then once I start picking and putting things together and start seeing, lining everything up back to the Bible, lining up, what it did was it started separating. I started seeing a picture and I started, be, it was separating, separating lies and the truth. That's all it is, lies and the truth. Now, let me share something with you. I got two grown boys. My boys are grown. They're in their 30s. That territory, I'm old. I'm 56, okay? I'll tell you that. I'm 56, almost 57. But uh, I try to share this with my sons, and I thought they were, you know, ended up, but they're, they're, they claim to be Christians and everything, you know? And, 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 and my ex-wife and I, we were in the church, and, you know, we got both of them dedicated back to the Lord and the whole nine yards and everything. And, um, and then now that they're grown, they, they struggle, they struggle. And uh, it's that cognitive dissonance that they have that, uh, I don't think they want to admit to dad that, ah, dad, we don't believe the earth is flat. And I'm telling you, look, dude, if you say you believe that Bible, you can't say that you believe the earth is spinning. You can't do it. And it came to my mind today of the scripture, Hosea 4, 6. For my people lack, my people will perish for lack of knowledge. And I thought about that. I thought about that, you know, and I'm like, wow, my people. So one, Jesus, God put a claim on the people. He said, my people. He didn't say all. He just said my people. And my determines who they are, the ones that claim him. That's my wife. I'll be back. <laughs> What's going on? What happened? All right. Okay. I have, sorry about that. Wifey had called and I was in the middle of uh, that. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, man, it's, it, it's, 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 uh, it's a little different. It, it's different. And, and I just, well, I don't know. When I thought about that scripture, Hosea 4, 6, my children will perish for lack of knowledge. And it really hit me. It really, really hit me. My children, my children, God put a name. He put a title on people. He put a title on us. And he said, my people will perish. Perish, everybody knows, means to die. You know, we'll die. And I thought about that. I was like, wow, die, you know, and for lack of knowledge, you know, lack of it. It's not that you don't have knowledge, it's that we lack it, you know, and if, you know, lack it. I don't wanna lack anything. If anything, you try to gain as much as you can. You know what I mean? Everybody knows that. You don't wanna just, eh, get by, eh, that's enough. Mm -mm. Lack of knowledge. And I'm finding <clears throat> uh, how a lot of people, think that, you know, well, learning the flat earth doesn't have anything to do with salvation, you know? And the way I look at it, yes and no, yes and no, is this. The reason why I say it this way, this is the way I think. Well, salvation, you know, yes and no. Look, this way. The Bible's crystal clear. I know more, I got a better understanding about the Holy Bible than I do of uh, uh, getting into the flat earth when I learned about flat earth. You know, I had more experience and understanding about what I thought what I thought, because a lot of times I was, oh, yeah, I know Bible. I've been reading the Bible longer than, than you know, so researching flat earth. Well, that can go both ways, because like that, Hosea 4, 6, I read that decades ago. I didn't really get a hold of that scripture and the understanding of that scripture like I prayed for until about a few months ago. <laughs> and I was like, wow, man, I said, you know, man, that's true. How can one witness, if you claim to be a Christian, I don't call myself a Christian, I call myself a believer. Christ didn't use the term Christian. So I, I say this, well, it has nothing to do with your salvation. Well, how do one 
that claimed to be a Christian or believer witness to someone that is a globe believer that believes in space and NASA and, and, and uh, SpaceX 9 and all of that. How can one witness to someone that believes in the globe and don't believe in the flat earth? The way I looked at it, from what I gathered, from all the research and I found, globe is, if you do research, NASA, a lot of people know already, means to deceive, means to ascend, it means to, to beguile. That's all of the red flags of Satan. Those, oh, those are all red flags of Satan. And to um, say that one is a believer of God and know the scriptures that the Bible tells us that the, the, the word of God is like oil and water with, with sin, it doesn't mix. You can't take a lie. You can't believe a lie and claim to believe God's word. Can't do that. I mean, it's impossible. How can you say, I'm a Christian believer and I believe God's word, but I still believe the earth is spinning around and we're going through the galaxies at astronomical speeds and there are planets and we can land on planets and there's possibly aliens. You can't do that because the Bible doesn't depict anything of it. There, someone mentioned that there's over 200 scriptures in the Bible that depict a flat, non-rotating earth, you know, and I, what I've run across, what I found myself, at least over 70, that states that the earth is, is stationary and it shall not be moved. And then, well, you know, how can you back that up? Well, I don't have to. Scientists have backed it up. You know, I mean, they proved it themselves. If we do the research and we can find the year I was born, 62, they were shooting rockets up in the air. That was shortly, not too long after they, uh, my mother graduated in 1958. That's when NASA was established, okay? And after uh, Byrd, Admiral Byrd and all them found uh, what's going on down there in Antarctica, they had a treaty and not that started that up. And it just so happened that NASA is so full of, you know, Freemason Masonic guys in there. It's an organization, a, a secret society. It's just a dot that you need to connect, just another little dot. And I had started getting a whole bunch of dots, you know, and then it, it formed the picture. And once you do that, it's like, you know what? If the more you keep reading in the Bible, how can one witness to somebody that believes in a globe? How can you do that? You can't say, hey, man, how, how, how do you do it? How can you say, hey, man, do you know Jesus Christ? You know, this and that and the other. Oh, yeah, you know, this and that. And then and then you say, uh, hey, well, what about that NASA, man? I mean, that'd be nice if they can get to Mars. Oh, yeah, man, you messed up. Because there is no outer space. There is none. Because there's a firmament above. And people would read that, like I've done, several places in the Bible, <laughs> went right by it, didn't, get, didn't stop, didn't heed, didn't take heed to what it said. So once I started studying and rereading again and studying again thoroughly, deeper understanding, God started exposing a whole bunch of stuff. My mind went, Poof. I was like, whoa, wow, man. So I don't know, you start to see everything. And a lot of stuff is, is exposed. And you know, the hardest part, it used to be easy for me to witness to a stranger about Jesus Christ. I didn't have a problem with it at all, easily. But you know what made it a little harder? <laughs> Tell somebody that the earth is flat. Start out like that. Do that. Ah, oh, man, it was like, because uh, uh, first thing you don't want to sound like is an idiot. You don't want to sound like a moron. My own kids are looking at me like, dad, man, he's talking flat earth. But you know what? I love them. I love them. I got two sons and a daughter. Love them all. But you know what? The deeper I've got into the Bible, the deeper I understand God's word. I love them, but hey, all I can do is just tell them the truth and leave it be. I can't let it, you know, bother me like, man, you guys don't believe that. No, uh, don't bother me like that because I will stand on the word of God before anything else. I will stand on it because I've read it. I understand it. He led it me to it. And it's like once I got it, I'm like, oh. I give up. Hey, Lord, that's you. That's you all day. And it's easy. Once we understand the word of God, 
we can see that. And we know through the scriptures, we know that God caused Satan has power in this world. Yes, he does. But God also made him leave his little markers. Satan has to leave little trail markers. And for those who seek the God, the heavenly father, we see those trail markers and we're supposed, and when we do see them, we recognize, oh, that's Satan right there. Oh, that's, that's a move of Lucifer right there. We can recognize that. And Satan has no choice but to follow what God says. He has to do it. But there's some that see those same markers and don't see them. They look right past them. That makes me think about the scripture when God says uh, that people will, should believe a lie that he will give a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they will not take to believe the truth. That they will not believe the truth that they should believe a lie. He will give a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And that kind of made me like, oh, wow. Cause it's not Satan that gives it strong delusion. It's the almighty God. And who can, who can, you know, the, who can go against him? Nobody. So, it's, you know, it's imperative, man. It's really, I'm feeling in my mind, in my heart, my lifetime, it's imperative that we make sure that people understand, you know what I'm saying? And it's not to say that you, okay, you want to believe the earth is, is round, a spinning ball, that's okay, but there's that, that's deception. And if you can believe that, if you believe that, you can believe anything else Satan puts out there. You Anything else he puts out there, you can fall you can succumb to a lie easily. And that's the fear. And we should love one another as we love ourselves. I don't wanna go down like that. So if I love a stranger that I never met before and we have a conversation about it and he believes in a globe, I do my best to let him know, hey, look, man, I used to believe the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But the Bible doesn't say that. Well, it's got nothing to do with salvation, but I don't want to see you get deceived. You can be deceived because if you believe that lie, you can't believe in God's word. God, word, and Satan's lies don't mix. They do not mix. We can't say we're NASA believers. We can't say we believe in space. We can't say that the earth is spinning around a thousand or whatever they say miles an hour. We can't say we believe that and believe God's word because God said that's Lucifer over there. That's Satan. That's the adversary. And he has nothing to do with my word. They don't mix oil and water. So that's the thing right there. It's got nothing to do with self. Uh, you can't witness. And then what does Ephesians tells us 612? To put on the whole armor of God, to put it all on. To me, in my mind, if I believe in the globe and I say I believe in the Holy Bible, I'm only putting on partial armor, just a little bit. I'm putting maybe a kneecap on and, and, a, and an arm pad on or something like that. And, but I'm not fully protected. And what does that do? The deceptions that I believe in with the other stuff, I can get injured. I can get killed. I can get wiped out. That backs up that scripture to Hosea 4, 6. For my children will perish for lack of knowledge. The more knowledge we gain through extra biblical texts, through the Bible, through all those things, that's armor, plating, plating, armor, boom, putting it on, bang. We putting more and more on. And the more we put on, the less deceptions we fall from Satan. We, it's the lesson because we see it, we know it. You know what? Mm -mm, I studied on that one, I read that. And, I, and that, that doesn't line up with God's word. Mm -mm. That's the armor, bing, goes off. You know see what I'm saying? And me, look, I don't wanna make this video too long, but. I'll get back with y'all again because uh, it was just on me today. I had to get that off. I don't know anybody even watched this. You know, <laughs> I don't know. But hey, this is my first one, first time I tried it. So God bless y'all. Be cool. Peace. <laughs>